Hi friends, this is your weekly pastor's update. I pray that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends. I certainly did. Every year we gather at my house and we go around the table from the youngest to the, to the oldest, just kind of saying what we're grateful for. And one of the things that I'm grateful for is entering the season of Advent. Advent is a season of the expectation and arrival of Jesus, the Christ child. There's something wonderful about expecting the arrival of someone special in your life. Think of all the times we often spend, right, getting ready, making sure the house and the rooms are ready, and that we have the right food, and that we have planned experiences to share with the person who we are anticipating is coming. Well, there's no one more special in our lives than Jesus. Isaiah says, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. So this amazing baby Jesus is coming to bring light to our world and joy to our hearts. I love lighting the Advent candle each Sunday in preparation. The first candle we light is the candle of hope. And then the second week, it's the candle of peace. The third week is the candle of love. And the fourth week is the candle of joy. So as we prepare for baby Jesus' arrival, let's remember to slow down, find time to spend with God as we create space to receive this precious gift from God into our hearts and into our lives. Maybe you can set aside some time to grab a cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate to just sit in front of a lit Christmas tree or a window each morning just to be present to God. As God's love washes over you, be reminded of how holy, how beautiful you are, that Jesus has chosen to come to us, journey with all of humanity so that we can know that goodness is our destiny. So happy Advent. Join us for our annual craft show and coffee hour this coming Sunday, December 5th, after the 930 Mass. This is a great opportunity to buy some wonderful handmade gifts and some baked goods for loved ones while supporting our parish, our parish artisans. Are you looking for some adult enrichment during Advent? Join us for our Advent Evenings of Reflection. Mike Boucher and Reverend Seely invite you to three evenings of slowing down and quieting as we move through the Advent season. Sessions will be virtual from 7 to 8.30 Eastern Time on Tuesdays, December 7th, December 14th, and December 21st. And you can sign up at the Events and Calendar page under the latest section at, of our website. So go to the events and calendar page, you'll see a tab that says latest, click on that section and it will take you to the link to sign up for our, our adult, adult enrichment. And that will also allow us to send you materials and links. And if you have any questions, you can contact Mike Boucher and his email is listed in the bulletin this week. The Adoptive Families Program is looking for volunteer donors to cover their last 13 families with Christmas presents for their children, ages newborn to 17 years old. If you would like to participate in this year's program, please register and you can find the link on our homepage of our Spiritus Christi website. Click on that and it'll take you to the form that you can fill out. Thanks so much for your generosity. We are gearing up for our Christmas nativity play. So if you know of a child between the ages of three and a half to sixth grade who would like to be a part of our in-person nativity play that will happen at the four o'clock Christmas Eve mass, you can see details in the other news section of the bulletin of, of how to sign your child up. And know that the rehearsals will start on December 8th. We send our condolences this week to parishioners who have lost loved ones. So we send our condolences to Paul Boutet and the family of Stephen Morgan, 
the 38-year-old who was killed by a stray bullet that we buried this week. We send our hearts to Bonnie Olskamp and the Olskamp family on the death of Bonnie's husband and Fran Olskamp's brother, Vince Olskamp, who will be buried this Thursday. We send our deepest sympathy to Debbie and Rick Geiselman on the death of Debbie's mother, Jean Rogers Havel, and to Mike Boucher and Lynn and family on the death of Mike Boucher's father, Will Boucher. And Will's funeral will be at Spiritus this Saturday at 1 o'clock. We just want you to know that we're thinking of you, we're praying for you, we're holding you in our hearts as you go through this really difficult time. Know that we are with you. Friends, may God's light and presence be with you this week. And I will see you again next week for our weekly pastor's update. Take care.